Hi everyone and thank you for joining again. It's finally getting spring here in Germany and we finally see the sun again. So I just had to make this beautiful spring themed handbag. And what is better for spring than a bright yellow handbag in floral pattern? So this is the yarn that I used. As usual, I will link everything you need in detail in the video description. So please click on the description and see all the material. We work with a 7 mm hook and to start our pattern we will chain 23. If you would like to make um, a bigger bag then chain in an uneven number. That's 23 and now we start in the second chain from the hook pull the thread through then we pull a loop through the next chain then we skip one so skip this one poke in this one and pull the next loop. Now you should have four loops in your hook, yarn over and pull through all of them, like this. Then chain one. And this is our first floral, cl floral cluster. Then we poke in in the middle of our flower. Then we poke in in the same stitch like the last leg of our flower. Pull through there again, then again skip one, so this one and poke in there, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. and chain one to close the flower. This is how it looks like. And again poke in in the middle of the flower, poke in in the last leg, in the same loop like the last leg, then skip one and go on in the next. So personally I think this is a perfect alternative for the jasmine stitch because I never managed to make a proper jasmine stitch so I'm pretty happy that I found this one here. And this is how it should look like when the row is nearly finished because one flower is still missing here. Just wanted to, wanted to make it together with you. 
hook in in the same stitch like the last leg and when you now skip one and poke in in the next this should be the last chain of the row like this and again yarn over pull through all four loops on your hook and in order to turn we will ma now make three chains one two and three one two three turn around and now we again start in the second chain in this one here pull through then we poke in the third chain but not up here but in the middle of the flower then we skip one and poke in the next one which should be the middle of the next flower so I'm fighting with my yarn here but now I have my four loops yarn over and pull through all of them and chain to close the flower and this is how you go on now again poke in in the middle of the current flower then poke in in the same loop like the leg which is the middle of the flower skip one and pull, pull through the middle of the next flower again you have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through all of them and chain one to close so this is how it should look like we again make the row end together you can see I detangled my my yarn in the off camera <laughs> and now you have this last loop here where you poke in there and this is where you pull your yarn through and again you have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through all of them and because we have um, the new row here we chain three And this is how you go on until the bag reaches the height that you like. I made 20 rows in total for my bag. This is how it looks like. You can perfectly see this beautiful floral pattern here. And I'm at the end of the row here. I didn't cut the thread because we will now make one row single crochet all around the bag to straighten the edges. Therefore, we poke in here and make a single crochet. Then you always have these big loops here. There we will make two single crochet. Then we have the small loop here again where we will make one single crochet then the big loop again and you might guess here we will make two single crochet right so 
small loop again this one here and so on So let's quickly make this little corner here together. This is the one where we have the uh, knot from, from the beginning. I will just push it down a little and poke in like this. And without making a further chain or anything, you will now go on in the foundation chain from the beginning. You might loosen your tangent here a little, but this is basically what you have to do. And this is how it should look like when you finished all three sides. I already cut the thread here. Now we'll pull it through and make a fake stitch to end the row. Therefore, we will poke in like this below the two loops of the next stitch, pull the thread through and then bring it back to the middle of the current stitch like this. Now you have this loop here that looks like a stitch and you can weave in the end. So a little close up. This is how it should look like now. I think I have to zoom out. Yes, right. So this is how the back should look like. And now we will make the sides. For the sides we could just make single crochet but I wanted to have the floral pattern all around so we will make this pattern here as well. Therefore I made already 13 chain stitches here. 13. And again we will make the now known pattern which means we pull through uh, chain two, chain three, skip number four and pull through number five. Then we have four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all of them, chain one to close. Then again, poke in in the middle of the flower, poke in in the last leg, skip one, pull through the next four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all of them. So you do that for this first row and make a second row and your side part is finished. As you can see here, I already weaved in the ends and cut them and now we will just tag um, part of the thread and fix the sides to the main part and therefore we just poke in through the main part and through the side part and pull the thread through both of them like this.
Then you poke in in the next loops. Pull it back. Poke in in the next loops. And pull it through again. Like this. And you just do that all around the side, like this. And then in the end, you make a few stitches around the D-ring in order to fix it. This is the second side that we just made. This is the first side. And now we will make the lock. For the lock, there are two parts. The lower part you just poke in in the middle of the back. So easiest way is to poke in in the middle of the flowers. These two holes here. And then you bend the spikes around on the inside. Normally there's such a, uh, a little metal plate that you place on the spikes first before you bend them around. I didn't have that anymore, but normally it's delivered with, with this lock. So as you can see here, the upper part you have to open before you can fix it. So let me try if it's Fine enough. Nope. 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 So this should work. Then you just place it around the edge and squeeze it together again. And in this way it's fixed. And that's it again. I hope you like your new bag and I hope you like the tutorial. If yes, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.